Um, uh, I want to tell you a story. I'm, I'm just going to do audio, not visual, because I'm in bed and not dressed here and stuff. So, uh, I want to tell you a story about me being in the ER and, um, you know, thinking that we can um, look at people and, and we can, you know, understand who they are when really we have no clue, right? And uh, we're jumping to conclusions and, um, you know, and we're guessing, but we're guessing wrong, you know. So I'm in the ER and um, I'm being, you know, I'm, I'm being, you know, blacklisted and not respected. And there's, um, you know, and I, I also want to, I want to explain not all, all doctors are bad. Not all doctors are failing people. Not, you know, I mean, when you're blacklisted, you're, you know, you're really screwed. And, um, yeah, for, you know, for healthy people, you know, I mean, your health care is not going to be like my health care. Uh, I've got a big mark on my record. And so I'm not talking about providers how they're going to behave with me. I'm talking about how providers are going to behave with you and the average public. And, you know, not all doctors are bad. Not all, all doctors are lying and gaslighting and stuff. So, um, you know, I mean, I, th I think there's a lot, a lot more lying in healthcare going on than people, people would care to know. But, you know, not all doctors are mistreating people and blah, blah, blah. So, and, you know, not all doctors are injuring people, but, you know, there's far more injuries happening than people realize. And I think the average public would be shocked to know the truth. And I, I think maybe, you know, one out of, I don't know how many medical injuries are actually being reported, but by far most of them are not. And, and, um... As a chronically sick person, I can tell you that, uh, and, uh, you know, this goes for a lot of other chronically ill people, you know, um, the past 40 years, I'd say I maybe have at least 10 appointments to every one appointment that a healthy person would have, maybe even more than that. So what I've seen in healthcare, I've seen, you know, 10, 20 times more than a healthy person has seen. So I've seen a lot of, you know, not good things. And, you know, I've seen a lot of mishaps in my own care and um, dropping a ball and, you know, medical errors. And I don't say, say this in a, you know, uh, scathing, targeting type of manner. This is just reality. People make mistakes. The sad, you know, the sad worst part of it is, you know, the mistreatment that follows and the covering up and not wanting to talk transparently to patients and, um, you know, holding it against a patient, you know, it, 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 I'll never be okay with this behavior, you know, injuring somebody and then treating them like the bad guy, treating them like a villain. I'll never be okay with that. That to me is just, you know, not normal. I understand why they want to, you know, run and, and they're afraid of lawsuits and this and that, you know, and lawsuits, you know, they don't happen in Canada. They're rare. You're, you don't, people don't have the money to, you know, you need tens of thousands of, 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 a, of, of disposable mon ca money to, to do a trial, you know, and stuff. Lawsuits here aren't reality. So it's just a horrible shame in that, you know, once a patient gets injured, either you're a hundred percent gaslighted or, you know, everything goes south and you're blamed and, it didn't happen and you're delusional and blah, blah, blah. So anyways, um, so I tell you, I'm in the ER and, uh, lots, tons of people in there and, you know, in the waiting room and, 
there's, you know, I think two doctors or whatever, and there's people in the little rooms, right? Patients in the little rooms. And there's an elderly woman. She, you know, she sounds, you know, 80-something. Yeah, um, and she's just angry and volatile and a little bit of swearing and yelling and saying, get away from me, get away from me, don't touch me, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I, I like to observe people, I, I, I like to observe people's um, reactions. I like, I like to observe human psychology, right? And I'm, I'm looking around, right? And there's, you know, um, nurses coming and going and, um, all the other patients and everyone's snickering. First, everyone's shocked, right? They're kind of, their eyebrows kind of go up and this goes on every once in a while. She's shrieking and yelling, don't touch me and stuff. For, at first, um, people are, you know, surprised and taken aback and, and then the snickering starts, right? And people, people make a choice. Okay. So is she crazy? Is she, are, you know, is, is she in pain? Um, is she mentally ill? Is she out of her mind because she's elderly? Uh, does she have no credibility because, you know, she's so elderly and, so people kind of, kind of reach a judgment, right? And everyone is snickering now. Everyone's laughing whenever she cries out and she's yelling things and stuff. And I'm sitting there watching this and you know what? Like we can't know, we can't make a judgment. What I've seen in healthcare, you know what? What I've seen in healthcare in 40 years with my own care, I've been seriously injured a few times. I've had many medication problems, serious medication problems, like struggling breathing and falling down and, and not being able to function and not being able to walk. And, and, you know, um, injured from medication and nerve damage and this, that, the other thing. What I've seen in 40 years, you know what, might be half of what, what she has seen. And you know what, maybe she lost a child in, uh, in childbirth. Maybe something went wrong when she was giving birth and the child died in a hospital or, um, you know, she might've lost her husband during a surgery, um, she might have been injured a few times. Um, she might have had a, a surgery that's gone wrong. She, you know, her, her, her neighbor might have died from, uh, um, you know, gone in for a routine surgery and never, ever came home. Um, someone might have lost two, two, two children from, you know, med uh, I you know, medical harm, medical error. Well, you know, what I've seen literally in 40 years has been a lot and she might have seen twice as much and and she might be in pain and they're not believing her she might have some disease and they're not respecting her and they're not listening to her because because she's elderly she might be on a couple of medications and they're not taking her seriously because they think you know she's delusional and it's you know so you know we can't we can't, or, you know, they might think she's mentally ill. Um, so we really can't know, you know, we can't judge. We can't, and we can't look around and think, oh, well, everybody else is laughing. So I guess she must be crazy, right? I mean, um, people can be so patient profiled and disrespected in, by the system, you know? And, um, yeah, I just wanted to share that story. You know, the, 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 what everybody might think is the craziest person in the room might actually be the smartest person in the room. They might have seen 
more than all the rest of us have seen. They might know the truth. They might know, you know, maybe they are, you know, they know what's wrong with them. They know the truth and, and doctors don't believe them. They, they literally might be the smartest person in the room.